Second job. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. <laughs> no, heck, I'm still working. You know. What do you think of that whole Saudi Arabia thing? Well, you know, it's. Uh, I I don't really have a problem with it from the same point of. Uh, there's some guys it fits. Guys that are near the end of their career and guys that, uh, uh, you know, I, I look at it sort of in a way that most of the South Africans and the Australians grew up and turned pro at a very early age. And because they didn't have programs in their country to develop them and, and have, them, have loyalty. And of course, not even further loyalty, they came to the United States. And so they, they didn't have what we had here where we had junior programs high school programs, college programs, uh, amateur programs, the, 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 the secondary tours and the major tour. There's a loyalty that's built up with a lot of our guys here. And they didn't have that, and and I, I can see that. They have an opportunity to uh, do something for their families that uh, they're probably not gonna be able to do on, on a regular tour. So, you know, I don't, I don't uh, begrudge them at all for that. but. Uh, you know, I think that the PGA Tour are the ones that, the guys that have grew up with it, the guys that have kept their loyalty to it, and kept the, uh, been brought up by that, and then they wouldn't be where they are if it wasn't because of what's happened with, with basically in the U.S. with golf and the programs that they had. I think they understand that. And so, uh, uh, you know, I, I think the PGA Tour will be, will probably just be stronger because of it. I think the U.S. programs will be stronger because of it. Uh, I don't know whether, uh, you know, how long live will stay around. I think it'll stay around for a while. I don't think there's any question it's not going anywhere. Uh, but uh, the, uh, I think the uh, U.S. tour is, uh, uh, what, they've, what they've said, they said they've actually accelerated what their growth program was. And uh, uh, I think we'd have gotten to where we were going. Uh, you know, in the meantime, I'd, look what the tour's done the last two years. And if you think about it, you guys probably don't even realize it, but for the last two years with COVID, the two and a half years, I suppose, it's almost two and a half years now, uh, the, uh, the tour has made sure that every sponsor was whole, made sure that every charity was whole, and made, all, made sure that all the tournaments were whole. In other words, it's cost the tour probably 10 to $15 million a tournament for every tournament for the last two year, two and a half years. That's a lot, lot, lot the tours had, they had. So, I mean, I think that's probably some of their war chests that they wanted to keep for, for going forward, for, for a rainy day, you might say. And then COVID was a rainy day, yeah. and in that way.